I'm Fletcher Roden, and this is Quotes and Quips. Today, words of wisdom from the Mahatma Gandhi. Quotes and Quips is brought to you by my website, FletcherRoden.com. There, you can find links to my Amazon author page, where you can download my books in the various formats, including audiobook and a link to my Spotify artist page where you can download my music in its various subgenres. I've got new music for 2024. Or you can download my stuff wherever you like to download your favorite uh, music. But there's free stuff at the website, including music you can only get there, so check it out. Okay, today, the Mahatma Gandhi gives us these words of wisdom. Do not walk through my mind with your dirty feet. Okay, well, Gandhi is a widely quoted uh, man of peace. He's the uh, liberator of the um, Indian people from British colonial rule, one of the great figures of the 20th century. Now, <clears throat> he was a meditative man. So, for, for a person who meditates a lot, transcendental meditation is a very, it's you're living in the sphere of the mind. I, I wrote a book of, of uh, meditations, actually, uh, and it's available uh, in the audiobook format on uh, Amazon. Journeys uh, of the Mind Self, it's called. So, for, for Gandhi, the mind was... It, it was it was a a, 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 a temple. It, it is, and when you when you meditate, the mind takes on greater meaning because you're leaving the physical realm. In a way, transcendental meditation is very much a, a mental practice, and in fact, well, the idea of it is to really not do anything at all, mentally, mentally or physically. But for Gandhi, the mind was central. So when he likens it to his home, it is that. And, and so it is for us all. You know, you, it's, it's what this quote reminds us is that what's happening in our, in our minds and in our souls will be reflected in our outside world. And our outside world will affect our inner world. They often say things like, you know, clean environment, clean mind. You know, if you're, if, if you're, if you're in a dirty place, your thoughts will become disorganized. And, you know, but if you're, if you're in a clean, well-organized place, then your thoughts will be clean and well-organized. So, these, the physical and the mental, have, a, have an effect on one another. It, it, and it's important to keep that in mind. I was speaking with my friend Eva recently, and she had suggested that there was a connection between the stress of our political condition and the state of uh, a person's physical health. And I think that is true. And Gandhi's quote reminds us of that. Uh, but also, it speaks to this idea of um, the First Amendment. Because, do not walk through my mind with your dirty feet. Well, the dirty feet are the thoughts, but they're not just thoughts, they're the words of, of others. No one, to walk through your mind is a physical act, and it's done by speaking. And when you when when you uh, when 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 there are utterances that are that are are unclean, then they really can have a an ill effect on the other person. You know, it's really you can you can practice your First Amendment rights all you want, but nobody has an obligation to have to listen to it. That's not part of your First Amendment right. Is that people have to sit and listen? And you got to know that if the things you're saying are abhorrent, they're going to have an ill effect on that other person. 
And they have a right, a, every, a person has a right not to hear it. Your right to speak is not matched by anybody's obligation to listen. So, as Gandhi tells us, one can always simply abstain. I'm shutting my door to this. Do not walk through my mind with your dirty feet. Now, one can say, well, that, that sounds closed-minded to me. That sounds like someone just saying, well, I'm not going to listen. I don't want to hear it. If it doesn't affirm my prejudice, then I just want to shut it out. And I understand that. If you want to do the devil's advocate thing, I, all right, fair enough. But nevertheless, you know, a, a, everybody has the right to abstain from a conversation. And depending on what you're saying, that abstinence may, may come frequently. And nobody has the right to impose their beliefs, uh, their espousals on others if they're not willing. Uh, uh, anybody has the right to close their door and say, your feet are dirty, my mind is clean. Do not walk through my mind with your dirty feet, from the Mahatma Gandhi. And uh, that's a quote and some quips. Make of it what you will. I'm here uh, every Monday uh, on, at noon on this YouTube channel. So tune in again, won't you, and visit my website, FletcherRoden.com. Until next time, bye, Mary.